Hi everyone, how's it going? Team here, and this is the conclusive video of the building products with JavaScript course. First of all, I want to say thank you to you know each and every of you who actually watched the whole course through. I know that you might think there's not been that many of you, but I can see a few hundred of views consistently on all of my videos, and you know to those people, thank you very much for watching all of that. Thank you very much for supporting me throughout the whole course. Uh, it was very interesting to do it. And, you know, I really enjoyed uh, communicating with all you guys and answering your questions. So that was, uh, that was really cool. So um, now that in my opinion, the course is done, right? So obviously, the product itself is far from finished, there is a ton of UI issues, there's a ton of user experience issues and a ton of things we can basically improve and fix and logic missing and everything. But um, sort of from my perspective, doing the everyday work on the clients and server would be a bit boring at least to watch. Yeah. So um, I mean, I can just sit and improve the client, fix the UX issues, you know, write the logic, make it work properly. But I, I don't know how interesting is it for you to watch it. If you say that this is something you want, I will do that. But the idea is basically in this video, I, I want to ask you to um, actually help me pick what I do next. Uh, do we continue building this course? Do we do I just keep coding the client and server and improving it until we have a proper working version? Is that something interesting to you to watch? I have some additional ideas of what we can do. Uh, so idea number one is introduction to web technologies uh, for people who don't really know anything because you know the the course that I did just now it was about uh, JavaScript development sort of an advanced level and you already know all the web technologies you know JavaScript you know bash you know Git, you know all that stuff right so uh, what I can do is I can try to do a course that will teach you the basics of all of that basics of bash basics of JavaScript basics of docker basic like basically whatever we used in this course it will be introduction to all of those technologies. Maybe it's going to be a series of different videos, but you know, that's it. If that is interesting to you, let me know. Another idea is to start using WebAssembly because you know, it's a new technology has just been released and it might be interesting to do a set of videos that will show you how to actually compile a library uh, or build a library in C, then compile it to WebAssembly and then use it in the web browser and Node.js because you can already do it both. Um, like in browsers, it's already enabled by default and in Node, it's still behind the flag, but it won't stop as much. Um, the next interesting thing is creating mobile apps using web technology. So there's a whole bunch of different frameworks. For example, React Native is amazing for that. Uh, so we can actually build a mobile app either for the backend that we already built in, in uh, this course or maybe some different thing, you know, to pick a public API like uh, Wikipedia, IMDB, whatever, and uh, build an app for that. Uh, the next idea is to uh, create a desktop app using web technologies. Once again, you know, we've been using the Hyper, we've been using the VS Code that I already closed. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, here it is. And all of this is built web technology by using web technologies, right? So all of this is JavaScript, essentially, or TypeScript in case of VS Code, but that's a different thing. Um, so uh, we can build a desktop app again, either for the building products with JavaScript backend or something different. Um, yeah, that's that's a good point. Actually, um, other um, compile uh, compile to JS languages, right? So the, that's another possibility. Uh, I just mentioned TypeScript. Uh, would you be interested in, in me talking about, say, how does TypeScript works? How does it compare to JavaScript? How you can use it? Show you some tutorials, maybe something like this. Uh, another possibility is, um, again, I already talked about this a bit, using machine learning. So we never came to develop the logic for the um, our client, actually, where we wanted to do predictions. But we can do that. So I can show you how to apply uh, I mean, may, maybe basic regression models, maybe some advanced machine learning, go to like deep neural networks. Maybe we do some completely different project with that. So I, I had some fun thoughts about the, for example, uh, using, uh, training the model in um, Python. Uh, so again, this, you know, it, it's not limited to JavaScript. So again, uh, coming back to machine learning, training model in Python to, for example, recognize the images. So there was some few fun projects that I had in mind. 
Um, we can talk about building real-time apps with WebSockets. Uh, again, something I wanted to do for this project, but um, I don't know, like, does that sound interesting to you? Uh, we can also do like adding cool features to the app with uh, service workers, uh, like offline capabilities, push notifications and things like this. Uh, service workers are actually quite trivial, uh, but very powerful if you do them correctly. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, what suggestions do you have? Because this, this is a very basic list. I can also include here like Python, Golang, um, what else? Java, please. No, not Java. Okay, let's, let's not do Java. <laughs> Let's do something, something a bit more fun. Um, Rust, maybe. This is a language that I haven't actually touched that much yet, but I would be very interesting in digging into it myself and, and seeing, you know, how exactly it compares to, say, Golang, because uh, I have been writing quite extensively in Golang for the past few years. So, yeah, um, the idea is that I want you to tell me what you want to see on this channel. Uh, here in comments, I will post this on Reddit. As usual, all of it will be non-monetized Creative Commons. I will do this for fun. We will have nice discussions, interesting discussions on uh, our Discord channel. If you haven't joined yet, feel free to join. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wait for, I don't know, one or two weeks, uh, gather your suggestions and uh, then do another video that will tell you what exactly are we gonna do next. But yeah, once again, thank you for staying with me all this time. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for telling me you enjoyed this because this is what kept me pushing and doing this. You know, it is really, really heartwarming to uh, read comments like, hey, your stuff is really good. Keep doing it. I mean, <laughs> that motivates me a lot. Thank you for doing that, guys. But yeah, um, that's it from my side. So thank you for staying with me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.